All parties in the matter, Westfield versus Tinsley Williams. Step forward. Jennifer Westfield is suing daycare provider Christina Tinsley Williams for medical bills and damages resulting from neglect. Miss Westfield, this is what your case is about. You had a 10-month-old baby. He's a little older now. You took him to Miss Williams' daycare. He put something in his mouth. Wasn't injured, but they had to remove whatever it was, a sticker. Yes. You'll have to explain what that was to me. And you're suing Miss Williams for your medical bills, for punitive damages, for neglect. Miss Williams says, listen, sometimes babies pick up things and she might have taken her eyes off him for a second. That's what happens. No, I seen him put them in their mouth, but I was trying to get it out. It got there? Yes. Okay. How many children do you have, Miss Westfield? Three. How old are they? 13, 10, and 17 months. So this incident happened seven months ago? Yes. Did your 13-year-old and your 12-year-old ever attend Miss Williams' daycare? Yes, about five yes. years ago, yes. For how long? Two years. And you found that, I assume you found her to be an adequate custodian, otherwise you wouldn't have brought the baby there. Correct. And for the two years that your other two children were in her care, there were no episodes with regard to them, I assume, or you would not have brought the baby back. Correct. Correct. So you were otherwise satisfied with her service. Yes. What was the date of this incident? August 12, 2016. Now you have kids who were 13 and 10. Has your 13-year-old ever been to the emergency room? Um, no. What about the 10-year-old? She had surgery, but she was never in the emergency room. Either of them ever break a bone, fall, mm. need a stitch? Yes. And how many times did the 13-year-old need stitches? Never. 10-year-old? Just once. What was she doing? Skating, and she fell. At home? Yes. And who was watching her? I was. I just want you to understand okay. where I'm going. So you had a perfectly fine experience for several years with the defendant, and you started to take the baby there because you were working? Yes. And the baby had spent three weeks there prior yes. to this incident, according yes. to your complaint, without incident? Correct. And you weren't there when the incident occurred. You arrived there later when the, they were trying to remove whatever it was that was in the baby's mouth from his mouth? Yes. On what date was this, Miss Williams? It was August the 12th. How many children were you caring for that day? It was seven at the time. And the ages of the children? School age, probably like seven to newborn. And how many people were watching these seven children? I have two assistants how old and myself. Are they? They're 25 and 27. And you've been taking care of children in your home. I assume this is in your home? Yes, it is. For how many years? Um, since 2008. Are you licensed? Yes, I am. In what state? In California. Have you ever had your license revoked? No, I haven't. And you're still licensed? Yes, I am. Do you know what happened with Miss Westfield's baby? Yes, we was doing arts and crafts, and we had stickers on the table, and then... What does a sticker look like? Does somebody have one to show me? It's like a bubble sticker, so the top is a little round, and at the bottom is flat. I see. Those are a little bigger than this sticker that we actually use. Okay, go ahead. And we was doing arts and crafts, and then my assistant noticed that he grabbed one, and then when... Where was he sitting? He was standing up, this at the time where he was starting to pull up and start to walk. So he was grabbing at the table, and my assistant seen him with the sticker, and when I was going to try to get it out of his mouth, you know, toddlers are really fast. Okay, so was he choking? He no, had it he was never choking. Okay, but it got stuck? It was on the roof, of his, on the top of his mouth, not in the back of his throat. Did you get it out? No, she ended up pulling up at the same time when I was trying to get it out, and she told me that she wanted to take him to the hospital to get it out. And okay. I told her that I was able to get it out. I'm, everyone on my facility is certified with first aid and CPR. So you took him to the emergency room? Yes. And when you got him there, what did they do for him? Can I rewind back a little bit? When I got to her house, my son was outside in a driveway. There was four other individuals there, her, her two assistants, and a parent of another child. My son was being held down to the ground. And they were trying to get... Well, they were trying to take it out. I understand. I got it. And then when I got there, I was able to pull out a wood chip and a piece of plastic comb in front of her. I took that out of his mouth, and there was still the sticker lodged in the back of his throat. 